Would you like to buy low and sell high, uh, or, or perhaps ride a long rising trend? If so, then this video about market timing strategies is what you are looking for. Today, we'll show you three market timing strategies with specific trading rules that might help you time the markets. You can see their performance on the screen, so make sure you stick to the end. We go straight at it and present the first one, which is the Fabian timing model. The Fabian timing model was developed in the 1960s and is not the typical average strategy. It uses the power of numbers to time when to buy and sell S&P 500. Fabian used to track the movements of three players, the S&P 500, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and the utilities sector. When these indices dance in tandem, the model identifies a buying opportunity for the S&P 500. But when two or start to buck the trend, it identifies a sell signal. Let's summarize the trading rules for the Fabian market timing model. When S&P 500, Dow Jones Industrials, and the utilities sector are all above their 39-week averages, it flashes a buy signal. Fabian timing model sends a sell signal when two or more of the indices are under their 39-week moving average. When we backtest S&P 500 from year 2000 until today, we get an impressive performance. But it's not a get-rich-quick scheme. It handily beat a buy-and-hold strategy by 2% annually, even while being out of the market 44% of the time. This long-term, low-maintenance market timing strategy focuses on trends, not fleeting news, and relies on clear signals for entering and exiting the market. While it won't make you rich overnight, it has the potential to significantly boost your returns over time. Before we present you the second market timing strategy, we briefly mention that our website quantifiedstrategies.com contains many market timing strategies and hundreds of other types of strategies. All back-tested, of course. Let's go to our second market timing strategy, which is called the Kopak Curve. The Kopak Curve, created by Edwin Kopak, helps investors see major market shifts over time. Unlike hand-drawn lines, the Kopak curve uses precise math to analyze price changes and identify major market trends. Think of it as a sophisticated market timing filter or indicator, separating bull from bear markets and guiding your investment decisions. The trading rules are easy to understand, although the Kopak curve itself requires some calculations. We buy when the Kopak curve rises above its 10-month moving average, and we sell when the curve dips below the average. Our backtest of the Kopak curve on the S&P 500 from 1960 until today showed a 6.1% average annual return, slightly lower than the market's 7%. But remember, risk and volatility matter too. We see a significantly lower maximum drawdown of 30% compared to 52% for buy and hold, meaning your ride is smoother. While the raw return might be slightly lower, the Kopak curve shines when considering risk. Its risk-adjusted return of 8.2% beats the market's 7%, suggesting it delivered better returns per unit of risk. The third market timing strategy uses the 200-day moving average. It's the simplest strategy in this video, yet perhaps the best of the three market timing strategies. Even Wall Street legend Paul Tudor Jones relies on it. Let's show you an example of the 200-day average. It's a lagging indicator, meaning it reacts with a delay. This delay is actually an advantage. The 200-day smooths out all the tiny price wiggles and reveals the big picture, the trend. This long-term focus helps you spot market entry and exit points without too many whipsaws. Now, even experienced investors like Paul Tudor Jones know the 200-day isn't perfect. It can miss some quick turns. The trading rules are simple. We buy when it crosses above the 200-day moving average, and we sell when it crosses below. The 6.75% average annual return since 1960 for S&P 500 might seem a tad smaller than the buy and hold strategy's 7%. However, it delivers a smoother ride, protecting your capital with a significantly lower maximum drawdown of 28% compared to buy and hold's bumpy 56%. By strategically stepping off the roller coaster during downpours, you shield your investment, allowing it to grow from a higher base when the market recovers. Remember, smart investing is about protecting your wealth, not just chasing the highest returns. This indicator helps you do just that. 
stay out of the market during those gut-wrenching downturns, ultimately leading to stronger overall risk-adjusted returns over time. Imagine steering clear of the 2008 crash without having a crystal ball about what was to happen. See how we exited the market in late 2007, saving ourselves from the 55% plunge while others got caught in the market implosion. By using this indicator, we identified the potential storm and stepped aside. When the dust settled in 2009, we re-entered the market, poised to ride the recovery with more of our capital intact. Even accounting for whipsaws, this indicator has delivered impressive results. This is the core of Paul Tudor Jones's renowned approach, relying on a simple yet powerful tool like the 200-day moving average. Remember, trading and investing aren't about complex tactics. Sometimes simplicity shines brightest. This indicator proves just that. Today, we have shown you three market timing strategies, and we hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe to help us grow so we can make more videos like this.